Hello, I'm Kerry Winterer. It's my privilege to be CEO of the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services, or DHHS. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, has a direct effect on the work we do here at DHHS. HIPAA affects the way we work with our clients, access our computers, and even talk to other people. It doesn't matter what you do here at DHHS, HIPAA applies to everyone simply because we work here. HIPAA is a set of federal guidelines that regulate how we work with protected health information, or PHI. Protecting any PHI we work with is the most important thing we can do to be compliant with HIPAA. HIPAA is a set of national standards to protect the privacy of Americans' personal health records. These standards apply to medical records created by health care providers, health plans, and health care clearinghouses. Since DHHS works in all three of these fields, HIPAA regulations must be followed at all times. Let's focus on the accountability part of HIPAA. We must be accountable for and protect the client and patient health information we work with. PHI includes any information that could identify a person living or deceased. The information could be about the past, present, and even the future health of a person. It could be written on paper, stored on a computer, or spoken. Some examples of PHI are patient health charts, lab reports, x-rays, billing statements, nursing notes, phone calls, conversations about clients or patients, and even some kinds of trash. Privacy defines which people can have access to PHI, so privacy is the who. Another part of HIPAA is security, which defines the how. The proper precautions should be taken to protect PHI and security regulations tell us how. Let's begin by going over the goals of HIPAA. For the DHHS, the goals are to protect the client's information, to prevent improper disclosures, and to meet the privacy and security guidelines. From a client's standpoint, the goal of HIPAA is to allow the client to have more control over his or her own medical information by establishing certain client's rights. HIPAA allows clients the right to inspect, copy, and amend their records. They also have the right to an accounting of disclosures, a request for restrictions, and to request confidential communication. These requests must be submitted in writing. There are a number of ways that we can reach our HIPAA goals, but one of the most important concepts is minimum necessary. Minimum necessary means that you will only have access to the information that you need to do your job. For example, a social service worker would only need information that's related to the eligibility of clients. They would not need to see the progress notes of a juvenile services child abuse case. When PHI is given to those outside DHHS, it should also be limited to the minimum necessary. Only the information required to meet the request should be given. When DHHS asks other providers for information, we too only ask for what we need and no more. Whether you work directly with patients or not, you may find yourself in situations involving client or patient information. Here are some of the ways HIPAA may affect you. To understand what you can and can't do, let's look at three ways a person's information might be exchanged or revealed. One way that PHI can be exchanged is through regular conversations. If you overhear coworkers talking about information in a public place, remind them that confidentiality is important. In the same respect, don't engage yourself in that type of conversation either. Remember, many things qualify as PHI. If you must talk about PHI to accomplish your work, find a private place to have your discussion. 
PHI can also be transferred on paper. Suppose you enter a conference room and find papers with client or patient information left on the table. The first thing you do is return the papers to the owner. But if you can't, give them to your supervisor for safekeeping until the owner can be found. PHI can also be transferred electronically. In today's world, where computers are such a large part of our jobs, it's important to watch how we use them. HIPAA includes regulations designed to safeguard access and the use of electronic PHI, also referred to as ePHI. DHHS has implemented policies and procedures intended to protect ePHI trusted to our care. These include such actions as turning your monitor away from public view, never leaving any client or patient information on the screen when you walk away from your computer protecting access to your computer when you're away from your office by locking your desktop or logging off your computer so your user account cannot be compromised and the ePHI is protected. Anyone who has access to DHHS computers on the DHHS network or access to ePHI on DHHS's computer application will be required to complete the DHHS Information Technology Security Awareness training course. HIPAA requires records with PHI be kept for six years. After six years, the proper way to dispose of the records is by shredding. A business associate is a person or organization who is not a member of the DHHS workforce who provides a service on behalf of DHHS with whom we must share PHI of our clients or patients. These vendors have contracts or agreements with DHHS. We need to make sure that they are HIPAA compliant and we ask them to sign an addendum to the contract assuring us that they will protect the PHI. There are a few circumstances in which DHHS can disclose PHI without a contract or other written agreement. These include disclosures made with client or patient authorization, Disclosures by DHHS for treatment, payment or operations. Disclosures to government agencies that determine eligibility for other public benefit programs. And disclosures made as required by the privacy rule. DHHS isn't the only organization impacted by HIPAA. There are many other groups, both public and private, that deal with HIPAA on a daily basis. These include federal organizations, such as the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, and the Office of Civil Rights. There are also state-level government agencies that work with HIPAA guidelines. In the private sector, there are also numerous groups that follow HIPAA regulations as part of their work. HIPAA impacts the work you do here at DHHS. Don't forget that. Protecting the PHI we work with is not only important to our clients and patients, it's important to you as well. There are both civil and criminal penalties for violating HIPAA. These apply to both the individual worker and the covered entity. In our case, that's DHHS. The penalties range from warnings to fines to even prison time. So it's extremely important to follow the guidelines. Here at DHHS, HIPAA impacts the work you do every day whether it's through receiving a fax, processing your case files, working with a patient's medical records, or even sharing information in a conversation. It's important to be aware of HIPAA. HIPAA reminds you to keep your client's or patient's information protected, which helps you do your job better in a safe and professional manner. Now that we've completed the video portion, you'll be directed to complete the remainder of the privacy and security training. Thank you, and thank you for all you do every day. The DHHS HIPAA office helps DHHS management, 24-hour facilities, and programs to maintain HIPAA compliance. The staff of the HIPAA office is glad to help you with any HIPAA needs. Send your questions to dhhs.hipaaoffice at Nebraska.gov. You can also call the HIPAA office at area code 402-471-8417.